Do you find it difficult to locate commands on Microsoft Word's ribbon? Do you find yourself constantly searching for the same commands over and over? You can actually modify the ribbon itself to put commands, any command, within easy reach, so you never have to go hunting for them again. Hi, I'm Deborah Savater with Legal Office Guru, your resource for Microsoft Office for legal professionals. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can modify the ribbon to make your favorite commands easier to find. Yes, you can actually modify the Microsoft Word ribbon. The demonstration you're about to see is an excerpt from my Basic Word Skills for Legal Professionals course. In the lesson leading up to this excerpt, I've covered the basic parts of the ribbon, tabs, command groups, dialog launchers, and contextual tabs. Just to quickly recap, you'll need to know what the ribbon is, what the tabs are, and that each tab has its own set of command groups that contain well, individual commands. Now that you have those basic concepts down, we'll pick up the lesson at the point where I begin showing you how to add your own command groups to an existing tab and how to create your own personal tab to hold whatever commands you want quick and easy access to. Once you understand the various parts of the ribbon, you may want to explore adding some commands to it to make them easier to find, particularly those that aren't already on the ribbon. There are two ways to do this. You can place your own command group on any existing tab, such as the Home tab, or you can create your own custom tab to group all of your favorite commands in one place. You cannot add commands to any existing command group. In other words, if it's a command group that's already in Word as delivered, you can't change it, but you can add your own command group to any existing tab. Let's say, for example, I want some finer control over my automatic paragraph numbering. The Home tab is already pretty crowded, but there's also a Paragraph Command group on the Layout tab, so it may make sense to add a Paragraph Numbering command group to the end of the Layout tab, which does have some room. That way I can have all of my favorite Paragraph Numbering commands in one place without having to go through different dialog boxes or contextual menus. To start the process, we'll go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon. Over on the right is a list of the various tabs on the ribbon, and underneath each tab, the command groups within each tab. I'll expand the Layout tab and see the command groups that already exist. Page Setup, Paragraph, and Arrange. To add a new command group to the Layout tab, I'll select the Layout tab by clicking on it, then click New Group here at the bottom right. By default, the group will be named New Group Custom, but you can rename it with the Rename button. I'm going to rename mine Paragraph Numbering. Now it's time to add some commands to this command group. I can add the standard Paragraph Numbering commands that are already listed on the Home tab by clicking on Choose Commands from the drop-down on the left and limiting the selection of commands to the main tabs then expanding the Home tab and the Paragraph command group within it. Then I can select the Paragraph Numbering related commands here, and with my new Paragraph Numbering command group selected on the right, click the Add button to add one or more of those commands to my new command group. But while this gets these commands grouped into my new command group, this also just duplicates what's already on the Home tab. However, I can also add new commands that aren't already on the ribbon to this same command group so I can have one-stop access to all of the paragraph numbering commands I use frequently. One example is the Adjust List Indents command, which doesn't currently show on the ribbon. I would usually have to right-click on an automatic paragraph number to access that command via a contextual menu. But within the Customize Ribbon area of the Word Options dialog box, I can find that command by choosing All Commands from the Choose Commands From drop-down and finding Adjust List Indents in the alphabetical list shown below. Again, with my new command group already selected, I can choose Adjust List Indents and then click Add to add it to my new paragraph numbering command group. I can also use the up and down arrows over here to the right to rearrange the commands into whatever order makes the most sense to me. But what if you want your own custom tab all to yourself? You can create your own custom tab that'll sit alongside the Home, Insert, 
Design, Etc. tabs at the top of the ribbon by clicking the New Tab button down here near the bottom right of the Word Options dialog box. Rename it anything you want. I'm going to use Deborah's favorite commands. Then populate it with whichever commands you want to have quick access to using the same process I demonstrated earlier. Once you've set up everything just the way you like, click OK and you'll see your new command groups in the tabs you've chosen. Congratulations! You've just customized your Word interface. Easy, huh? I bet you've thought up all sorts of things you'll want on your own custom tab. These are the kinds of things no one ever shows Microsoft Office users, and yet this is one of the many power tips contained in my Basic Word Skills for Legal Professionals course. The course has 45 lessons covering everything from tips on the interface, like what you've just seen, to formatting essentials, to lessons on working with tables, columns, footnotes, and more. It's especially geared toward those using Word within a law practice, like attorneys, paralegals, and legal assistants. For more information on the course, go to LegalOfficeGuru.com courses and click on the Basic Word Skills course or click the YouTube card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen now to go directly to the web page describing the course.